Hi folks, I've been invited down to Mantic today to have a chat about things that Mantic have been working on recently and some things that are happening in the future. And I'm with Ronnie, the main man today, and we're going to chat all things fantasy. Yeah. So Ronnie, in your Clash t-shirt there, got it on, got it on. Smart, yep, what do you want to tell us about? Well, tell us where we've been. Well, I mean, I think, you know, what's, what's exciting about Kings of War at the moment is we've really got a release schedule that's thumping out. Yeah. Uh, it started in the pandemic with other with less distractions. We could just knuckle down and get it. And we started with Reforged Orcs. That was our take on Orcs in a, in a big way. Empire of Dust, Ogres were my very different, but we're in hard plastic for the first time. The quality really started kicking through on all these. Um, and I think even with Ogres, it stepped up again to be, I'd call it world class. You're now getting fun armies that have a real stamp of Mantic on them. And the Halflings have, um, but they're starting to get Every three months, we're starting to get another one. Starting to get another one. This year, I think probably the most exciting year, we've gone back to Night Stalkers. Yeah. Added some real flavour with the Butchers and with, with the units. And the armies are now... When you first do them, everything's about the rank and file. When you hit an army for the second time, you start adding the juicy bits, the fun bits. Started with Night Stalkers, got even better by Northern Alliance when you've got dwarves on Raven throwing ice hand grenades. You know, now we're starting to get the fun stuff. And then, you know... I know some people are arriving it, some are getting it tomorrow, some is hitting stores in two weeks' time, but it's on the Twilight Kin, which has you know, blown the bloody doors off. You know, it's really, we've, we've launched it in the right way, people are looking forward to it, it's coordinated with Clash, it's a new army, it gives you a whole new meta. You know, when you go to tournaments next year, yeah. there'll be Northern Alliance, there'll be Night Stalkers, there'll be variants on those armies, but there'll be Twilight Kin. You'll know to play them before. You've, they've got to learn how to play them. You've got to learn how to defeat them. Yeah. And there is ways. So I love the fact the meta's changing, the quality's there, the audience. We're getting 90 man tournaments in New York we don't even know about. Yeah. You know, they're like, oh, do you know there was 90 people here playing? We're having Wildcat. And so not just Clash, not just Masters, Mess of the Rest, not just, you know, Masters in Oz. Yeah. We're really getting lots of people playing our games, enjoying our games, buying our soldiers. And it's not just tournament play. It's, no. it's, you know, people just building armies and, you know, as we all know, I like, I have a bit of a fetish for a massive battles. <laughs> so it doesn't have to be 2,327 points. It can be, it's great. So the plastics, the releases, the schedule, it's just lovely. It's lovely to see. Yeah. But we were just chatting briefly uh, earlier on before we started filming, like the, 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 from when, when you think sort of 10, 12 years ago where Mantic armies were now to where the model range is now, like it really has its own flavor. Well, uh, yeah. The quality of the minis is up there now. Like the, there's no reason not, not to, to have Well, I think we were always, there. we were Marmite from day one, weren't yeah. we? I think until I'm dead. I think by undead, but with elves, it was very Marmite and probably more disliked it than liked it. Dwarfs were actually a solid dwarf and I'm a, you know, I'm a dwarf and player. So they were there on point of dwarf and yeah. as dwarfs. By the undead, I think it was hard to argue that the, that the aesthetics wasn't there. Um, but we started the little round bases on them and so on and so forth. We went through kind of a few years of the Kickstarter years, you know, where it was Kickstarter, but we were also doing other things, Dreadball. And now I think we've come back to our first love yeah. and we've got the quality there. It takes a long time. It takes a very short time to get a reputation, a little bit longer. <laughs> to, but I think there's unequivocally now, you're looking at what we're doing and it's got a, the, the rules, the armies, the quality of the soldiers, the plastics, the resin. It's harmonious. It feels like you're fully joining up to a completed, fully rounded out Panithor universe. Yeah, 100% I agree. It, it's like you say, it's got all of the arms and legs, it's got all the components now. And all of them are robust. Yeah, it's not just the rules are good, but I'm going to use this, or I like this model, but I'm not killing the game. Yeah. There's, there's, a, there's yeah. a fully it, rounded out. It is there. And I, and I think, you know, in the past, people have supported us for the hope of where we're going to get to. Yeah. I think now you can join and start playing Kings of War. Absolutely the knowledge that it's there. Yeah. All we need to do now is get more people doing it. Keep supporting yeah. their armies and keep keep putting new things out. I think that's a great point. I think I think I think we'd all agree now the next stage is getting more people, getting new eyes on it, like let, getting those folks in who who maybe kind of have an opinion outdated from years ago. Who, well yeah, give us another look. Yeah, yeah. You come, know, come back in. Come back, have a yeah. look at the Twilight Kin, have a look at the rule set. You know, and and our job is to not stop doing that. So we've got to keep the releases coming out. They've got to keep getting better and better. I quite like this idea of revisiting armies in the early parts of the year and putting the big thing out at the end of the year. So yeah. early 2024, Trident Realm. Wow. We're going to come back to the Fishmen, the army that should never exist. <laughs> um, and who doesn't want big giant frogs 
spitting mortar shots across the thingies with howders on them, frogs riding frogs, double frog action. So, um, plus one of the other core units so that that army really starts to take on and starts to become part of the Panathor world. Mm. So we've got the releases coming. There's, you know, going to be at least two armies next year, possibly a third. We might even have something completely wacky at the end of next year, but constantly coming back to building, adding plastics to our armies, removing metal, putting resin in, making sure that it's easy to get cool, fun, exciting armies that visually look brilliant and, yeah. and play in an interesting way. Yeah. So the next stages I was just saying there, well, getting new people started. Yep. Yep. Ambush is a great way to get people started. Like if, if they've never played before and they want to kind of dip their toe in and give mm -hmm. it a try. We kind of realized that, uh, hi, do you, I want to play Kings of War. Good. Go and buy a 400-page rule book and paint 200 figures <laughs> and then come back and we'll talk to you. <laughs> okay, that might seem a little intimidating. January this year, we put the first six ambush sets. Yeah. We did the sets that had at least kind of two sets of plastic so that you weren't just building tons of troops. So we love Abyssal Dwarfs, but we've only got one set of hard plastic in it. I can't do a second set. So we put the ambush sets out. January next year, we're going to have an ambush two-player set. Wow. So it's actually configured to be a real get you started because yeah. there's loads of people that want to join. Where do I join? Here. Yeah. But you're going to get 250, and it's going to just start building your armies up with some nice, as much variety as we can get in. So, so we're continuing with that. We've also then gone out and reached out to people that are 3D printing. We yeah. set the vault up and said, oh, yeah. you come and join us, Armada. Come on, guys. We've got this beautiful game. It's all in resin. Resin is very hard for us. We've got a cast in making things. We've all been around the <laughs> resin process. Um, well, actually, we've got the files. Come join us. Here's the rules. And, you know, we've had that on my mini factory. We've got the vault going on. If you want to do your halfling army and want to need a load of 30 poachers to make a horde, 40 poachers to make a horde, you can download those heads, you can download those weapons. So we're trying to really open up physically, making it easier to just start and get in. And I think we'd got away from that. During a pandemic, people sat at home. I want a halfling mega army. I want a dwarf mega army. Now they're back in stores and they're going, look, I'm intrigued. I'm interested. I don't want 200 figures to start. Okay, you know what? Let's start with 20. Yeah. Get them built up. Get the regiment thing going, that whole regiment base. It's a joy. Once, once you unlock that, it. It, it changes. It, it's also a great way as well for, for people to dip their toe in for not a lot of money and also to be able to see the quality move on as well. Yes. Like you see, yeah, those, those are the ranges that have the, the plastic sprues. Yes. Yes. We're, we're seeing the quality of those plastic sprues coming through. And I think once you've kind of, you've got a, a small amount in your hand, then you can go, ah, I'm ready to I can, I can go I'm again. Well, I know you buy, go buy a big giant, yeah. you buy another thing or you go army and it's all configured so that you can just kind of add it on. What we give you in the ambush set, you're going to need a few more of. Yeah. But you start with those, then add some fun stuff. Add an army or a mega army, and you're nearly there. Yeah. You know, you, you, you're well, well, well on the way. So, however you want to build up, want a regiment set, want a giant. Okay, it's all there. Yeah, and I, and I guess as well from a, from a point of, of new folks coming into the game as well, you've now got sort of the, the rules free online. Yeah, you've got the companion app. Yeah, I am. Um, <gasps> Great way for people to kind of to, to get started. Absolutely, I think we need to do a little bit more work in when you hit our website, navigating you through that journey. But all the pieces are there. You know. The Companion, I think we launched last year, and I think at first there was a degree of scepticism. Um, I think now people are realizing what it gives us, which is the ability to update armies. Yeah. But we're going to do that once or twice a year yeah. uh, for existing armies, and then we might come and do a big army once a year. But that will always align with Clash. Yeah. Um, but what it does mean is that uh, all the army lists, if you want to just play casually, we've got a beautiful, up-to-date, bang up to date, army list thing, and that's free to use. Yeah. So if you're just building one or two armies, that's absolutely free. If you want to introduce a mate, there's the free rules digitally, have a look. And we've actually gone one further with that. And here's what I prepared earlier. <laughs> uh, you know, we've actually done a, a free rule book. Here's all the rules. Here's how you play Kings of War. Yeah, it doesn't have every army list in, it doesn't have every keyword in, but it has everything you need to take your models you've got, whack them on the table and start saying, do you enjoy Kings of War? scenarios and then actually again just a few of the forces yeah. that you can pick up the new plastics so from whether you're doing it digitally whether you're doing it actually um uh, physically and you know email us we'll send you one of these you know go on the website we've paid a postage we'll send it to your mate recruiter mate we just now need to get more people playing it more coming on the journey with us uh, we've been brilliant at it going into the pandemic i think it took a lull and now we're just going to get back on that and yeah. it was wonderful Best of the rest, 110 in the US, 140, 
48 at Clash of Kings. It's happening in the US. So it, all those things coming together, I think, is, is just jolly exciting. And, and please, you know, come and play games with us. Yeah. And we'll just chat about the, about the uh, companion app there as well. And I think it's fair to, to, to kind of point out as well is that the rules are free on the companion app. There is a subscription yeah. that you can upgrade your experience, but it is, a, it is an upgrade. It's, it's not paid to get started. Yes, you get, you yeah, get yeah, point. It's, it's a freemium, isn't it? Yeah. You come in, play, get going. If you're a casual player, you've probably got enough. Certainly, if your mate's a big player, you've got enough to get going. Yeah. If you're a tournament player and you want the bang up to date rules and you want 20 different army lists, it's three, three quid a month. Yeah. If you want the rules bang as they come out, and actually that leads us because Clash of Kings is coming out in a few weeks' time, yeah. early November, 6th of November. It's going to be in stores, middle of the month. The day it's in stores is the day the Apple update the uh, companion will get all the rules people have subscribed and i think army list is 2.99 a month with the rules is 3.99 a month so you're effectively paying 12 quid pound a month and i said you don't need, you don't want to buy another rule book yeah. if the rules is your thing quid a month which is cheaper than buying the rule book yeah. you've got it now obviously you'd be absolutely mad because then you're not going to get the background you're not going to get the pictures you're not going to get all the story and all the beautiful <laughs> things but if you're a rules player and there's certain people who just learn the rules just give me the rules or you live a long way away and it's hard to get books here's this you know and you can still buy the digital book but on the day that the clash of kings hits the stores is the day that the app will update perfect because i know that's been a question from folks kind of when, when does when does the companion up do, do, do i buy the book do i wait for the companion up now everybody gets it the same it's, time. Well, yeah, it's, it's entirely a matter of choice some will just want the book yeah i don't play that often i love reading books i want the background i want to look at the pictures you know i want a quiet hour in my uh, office having a good read i still physically love the books yeah there's some that are absolutely it's a tournament player. I want to build my army list. I'm painting and I'm building and I, and I just need the, the stats and the rules. Yeah. And then there's most of us which fit somewhere into both, which says, I kind of want the rules. I'm happy to get the book because I want the color and the background, the text. And then when I go onto the tournament, I don't need to take my big red book. I don't need to take my Clash of Kings books. I'm going to leave those at home and I'm going to just use my army list, my stats. Yeah. And so we're just trying to build out that wherever you are on your journey, whatever it is you want to do, we're, we're, we're glad you're aboard. Yeah. the good ship Mantic and, and participate and enjoy. That's it. There's options. There's, there's, there's options. There's and go wherever you want to go. If you're yeah. getting started here, if you're a super hardcore player there, if you're a background guy with uh, playing regularly. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Choices. So that's Clash of Kings then for this year. Yeah, it's a beautiful book. Yeah, shipping on the 6th. Lots of background, lots of stories. Doing the campaign, updating. I think we've... Uh, <laughs> the big things that could have happened didn't happen but that was because people voted for them not to happen uh, I think we've also realised that next year we just want to make it really binary really clean and tell people really early these are the options that are going to happen yeah. this is what the outcomes could be yeah. and this is how you get there and so start playing your games with that in mind yeah. with a view that you probably can't win all of them so pick the ones you're going to want to win and da 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 so as always these things are always a learning curve but I promise you we're on a journey five years from now. This map will look like your games, your outcomes. We've, and we're getting Matt and the studio more on side with this. We know what he wants to take, where he wants to take us, but how we get there and how we've got a big map. We did it on purpose to break things apart and knock yeah. things down and, and have impacts on it so that, you know, th those games matter and that the world is, is kind of coming alive in a way that I think in the early days, it got to a certain level and then it leveled off. Yeah. And I think the, the ability to keep doing new releases means we can do more. Excellent. So that's kind of a little, a little flavor of where we've been, what's happening in the back end of this year kind of thing. Clash of Kings, what's next, Ronnie? Well, as like I said, Trident Realms is coming. I think we might have some pictures that are going to come up, but we're going to revisit the Trident Realm army. Yeah. We're going to probably, we, we, I might have hinted at this, but definitely another army in the summer. Yeah. Uh, another revisit of one of our key armies um, just to go deeper. But largely, it's about encouraging people to take that next step with their Mantic armies. Yeah. I think that's something that I do want to say. You know, uh, we would rather you play Kings of War than not play Kings of War. We'd rather you play Mantic games than other games. But we would rather you play them with Mantic models than not. So we're not going to turn anyone away, but we are going to encourage those people that, that take that lead under the bed. It's not lead anymore, is it showing my age? But, you know, lead under the bed and get it on the gaming table. Yeah. So at Clash of Kings this year, 
everyone got a Ronnie the Bard. Yep. Stood. <laughs> Ronnie the Bard stood. And I think we can pop the stats up, which you might be seeing now. As you can see, here's the model and here's the stats. And you can see that it's gentle encouragement for you to finally get that Mantic army that you've got somewhere painted. Yeah. We also, a few years ago, we started flying the winner of a Clash of Kings to Adepticon, the winner of Adepticon Clash of Kings. It was brilliant yeah. in, in getting Americans and Brits playing and, and then and the Spanish won it and then we're going to fly <laughs> them over. But what was happening was it quite quickly became, I've got no chance of winning. So it, the prize was only relevant to 10 attendees. Yeah. And I thought, that's not fair. So that was one of the reasons why we did a Ronnie the Bard. Anyone that turns up with a Mantic Army at a sanctioned event gets this model. The only way you can get it is that way or... A ton of Mantic points because then you still be my Mantic model. So yeah. if you if you don't go around to painting them, at least you can pick it up that way. Or a lot of people don't play in tournaments, yeah. and I don't want them to not be able to get the model. I think that's really fair. Yeah. So those are the two ways, but it's not a it's not going to go on general sale. It's not a sale product. It's yeah. a it's a gift for either buying our stuff and building up a Mantic point collection or turning up at a Mantic Army event. It's a thank you from Mantic to see a thank you for support. Yeah, by buying Mantic. like Mantic points are. Yes. And we're going to have a big refresh. I know there's some of that coming. We've got, that's one of the first. We've got another one coming that's here tomorrow. We're going to put them up. But in the new year, there'll be a big refresh of Mantic points. Yeah. Um, now, if I can find a way of, of getting this shipped around the world in exchange for Mantic points and it not be sending me to jail for <laughs> quasi running a, a lottery for booze. But there's three armies at Clash of Kings and I've not told them yet. I'm getting one of these in the post. I hope to get them up here uh, sometime in the next few months so we can take photographs of their armies. But uh, Paul and Chris and, oh, the other one. Oh, for crumbs, I forgot your name. But uh, those three beautiful armies that were at, uh, I'm in trouble now, aren't I? Um, we're at, at Clash of Kings. They're going to get a bottle of our Goblin Blaster, finest dwarf and rum. We might put a picture of the label up. We'll get that one. It's beautiful stuff. We took some of it down there and uh, shared it. We bought a whole barrel. It's Mantic's own barrel. And um, and we're going to send a bottle. Went to, is going to go across to the winner of the Michigan GT uh, with his Kings of War army. There's two bottles going: one for the Oz Masters and one for Oz Clash of Kings in January. Uh, so I'm sure if Lady of the Lake and some of the others, there's going to be some qualifiers. You don't get this unless you're encouraging people to bring their Mantic armies. But once 50 percent of the armies are Mantic, you can unlock this. Yep. Uh, you can unlock the Bards, and we're going to give these to the best painted army. Yeah. So it's not a, you've got your tournament prizes yes. for winning and being competitive. This is for making that effort and actually getting it painted up and getting it done. And we'll find other ways of giving those for rewarding those cool yeah. behaviours, but um, it's very tasty. And non-alcoholic version for those that don't drink. Uh, that's good as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. goblin water. Everyone's, everyone's covered in that regard. Excellent. Yeah, so it's good fun. We're just encouraging people. I think we're going to have some big organised play pushing the New Year's to help people get back in stores and yeah. get going, get the stores, getting events going. Just getting the clubs, dads with their kids, yeah. mums with their kids, saying, right, come on, let's host a tournament. Yeah. Um, I think it's important to say as well is organised play isn't just tournaments either. It's just organised play. It's like it's it's something for people to come and attend and join in. Correct. Don't, don't feel pressure that it's a tournament kind of thing. Yeah. Is someone taking the responsibility for entertaining yeah. you guys? That can go from 150 people from all around the country playing super competitive yeah. to win the big sword through to six of you in a scout hut yeah. learning to play ambush yes. rolling some dice and learning what gaming is all about exactly. and I think that whole bringing people in you know taking care of the terrain we've just chipped terrain crate three fancy terrain now you can get your gaming table faster than ever it doesn't look like a tree from a <laughs> railway set dungeon saga you know uh, family games um, you know, the barroom brawl, so you've got an advent calendar. All these things are about making gaming more approachable. Yeah. And that's a big, I'm a big fan of it. It's been a massive part of my life. Touch wood, it always will be. Yeah. And I want to open up to the fact that Mantic allows you and your family and friends and game club to, mm -hmm. to play games with miniatures. It's nice now. I think, I think um, Mantic as a company, but also Kings of War as a, as a product line now, has that journey. It's, it's got the entry point for, for, for younger people, for families, for people who don't play a lot of games. Um, right the way up to if you want to go sort of hard tournament level travel all over the world playing the game there's something there for everyone and people do it's great to see it at class so it is it is lovely I think and we tried to make Vanguard the intro point to Kings of War and it wasn't the intro point for Kings of War is Ambush mm -hmm. because it's square regiment based game but that scales up nicely but we just had to drop that come join us point mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and that frees Vanguard up to do something else mm, exciting
So I guess that's kind of, that's most touch points covered there now for fantasy, is it? Yeah, I mean, we're going to have a massive year. It's going to keep growing. We're super excited. There's going to be lots more recruitment stuff going on, organised play going on, new releases going on. So if ever you've doubted it, if you ever think it, come bring a friend, come and play. Now is the time to join us on Kings of War. Uh, we're going to be having a great uh, open day and uh, 2024 is the Kings of War year. Exciting. So thanks, Ronnie. Thanks for the update. Thank you, buddy. Keep tuned as well because we'll have updates for the sci-fi stuff as well. And we've also got some updates about the board game parts as well. So thanks for watching and don't forget to watch the next one.